Hopestone Podcast. I can see where you come from, but I know just what you want it from. And what matters in the world's baddest brother, won't you stop it from the from your letter? Coach Stone Podcast number 32. I want to thank everyone for listening to Coach Stone Podcast. I apologize that I didn't have one last month. It was because uh, our Rockford Borland Titans went super far in the playoffs, made it to the final four. So I apologize. I will try to get two done in December to make up for that, for having a once a month podcast. I want to thank JC Hawks Radio, JC Hawks Sports Network. BJ, thanks so much for letting me do this. If you ever miss an episode of any of my podcasts, you can listen to them on iTunes and Stitcher. Look under JC Hawks Radio. Also, remember, go to my website for more information about podcasts, blogs, books, football tips, and free PE games. Go to CoachStoneFootball.com. Also, I recommend when you go to my website, go to the bottom of my website for promo codes of all the products that I think would help you as a coach or a player. Some you will hear during the commercial break on this podcast. Remember, if you haven't seen my book, Back to the Basics Football Drill Manuals. I highly recommend them. They are Amazon.com, hardcover, and Kindle. There are five tackle books and one flat book, over 1,600 pages of football drills and content. Without further ado, I have a great guest for Coach Stone Podcast number 32, Chip Baker. He is the founder of the Success Chronicles. Chip, are you there? Yes, sir. How you doing, Coach? I'm I'm doing great. Hey, thanks for coming on the podcast. I greatly appreciate it. Before we start, I'm going to go over the run of the show for the for the people that are listening. Um, there's a game plan, and how it works is pregame. We're going to talk about yourself, Chip, and then we're going to go commercial break. And after that, we'll have a kickoff question, first drive question. We'll go in at halftime, have some water, let the marching band on the field. We'll do a kick return question, a second drive question, and then we'll have a two-minute warning with the words of wisdom from you. And then if we have any more time, we'll either do overtime or end of the game. And then that will be the podcast. Are you ready to roll? Yes, sir. You know, uh, before the game starts, you know, the coaches normally get to meet, you know, and shake hands. And so <laughs> first I want to say, when we shake hands, I want to say, Coach, thanks for the opportunity uh, to be here with you on your podcast. I think what you do is awesome. I've uh, been following you for a while and, I just feel fortunate and blessed to, to be a part of what you have going on. Well, hey, I totally appreciate it. And when I saw you in Houston, I was super shocked seeing you. And I know we were <laughs> going to talk. We were going to talk, but I know you had to run away. And it, yes, sir. it's just tough because, like, you were doing such good things. What you're doing, you're talking to Jen and everybody. And then, like, you're like, "Hey, can I get a minute with you?" And I'm like, "Yeah, I'll be right back." And then I just, I just got caught with the time, so I apologize that I couldn't stay longer and talk to you. Oh, no worries. I, I understand. Business is business. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here we go. Mr. Baker, here we go. Chip, pregame, tell us about yourself. The floor is yours. Well, myself, I'm just a, an ordinary guy working real hard to achieve some extraordinary things. Uh, you know, I'm a fourth-generation educator and I've been blessed and fortunate to be raised by some amazing people growing up. And then in my career, I was blessed to also be around some, some awesome folks that, you know, it just helped me and showed me the way. And so um, this is my 21st year in education. And so uh, I truly love it. I love what I do. Uh, but then, you know, on the side, I, I have a um, YouTube channel podcast radio show, which is Chip Baker, The Success Chronicles. And I started that about three years ago. And I started it to show appreciation and give back to those amazing people that I've been blessed and fortunate to be around. And now it's grown at a crazy rate, and, and here we are. That's awesome. And then with education, you said, are you a teacher or what are you for 21 years? Yes, so um, a teacher and coach. Um, I've, I've taught special ed as my is my, my field, so I've done pretty much everything under the special ed umbrella. I've coached uh, football, powerlifting, and track. Um, you know, I, was, I was an O-line guy, uh, coached O-line, coached outside backers, um, coached some of everything, and so it's it's been a, it's been a fun journey. 
Awesome. And what are your, um, if you want to, let's get the, what is your Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook stuff? Let's give that to sure. everybody so they have it. Yeah, so my Twitter is ChipBaker19. Uh, Instagram is, uh, and Facebook is Chip Baker TSC, as in the Success Chronicles. So, you know, if you can, you can, and, and I'm, I'm on all social medias, either Chip Baker TSC or Chip Baker the Success Chronicles. And let's give the, the viewing audience that haven't heard of you yet, and they will, give them your YouTube channel so they can subscribe to it. Yeah, the YouTube channel is, you know, again, just Chip Baker, the Success Chronicles, and you know, the, the normal thing, like people say, you know, I'd love for you to go on and, you know, like and follow and subscribe and, you know, all of those things. Um, but the bigger deal is, you know, I learned a long time ago that it ain't about me, you know. And so uh, if there's something that you guys see on there that you like and, you know, you think it'll help someone, you think of somebody, uh, please send it to them, share it with them uh, so that we can help make our world be a better place. You know, and the one thing that the audience doesn't understand is I met you through, like, you know, we met before a long time ago, and then we actually ran into each other in Houston. We didn't even know we were going to probably meet, I don't think, because I, yeah. I didn't know. And yeah. the one thing I love about you is you're very genuine. And the, the one yeah. thing the viewers have to understand is about what, if you get a chance, follow, listen to this stuff. It's great. It's great. He speaks from the heart. Um, Thank you. Like I said, very genuine. And the one thing we'll talk about later on in the questions is you wrote two books, and we don't yes, have to sir. talk about it right now, but that's what I'm talking about. Like you said, you're, you're, you're so genuine, you don't need to pump up your chest, if, if, I, if that makes sense. Because, you know, right. in coaching, a lot of coaches pump up their chest, and I'll be the first one to admit, when I was younger, I, I always thought a title meant something. And mm -hmm. now I'm at the age where, you know, having five kids and having a wonderful wife, and, you know, through my wife and through my friends like yourself, it doesn't matter. A title doesn't matter. It's what you do during that season. You know, yeah. no matter if you win or lose, the wins come not on the scoreboard, but they come with, you know, seeing kids succeed where they probably wouldn't if you weren't there. And I think that is something where I've learned down the past from Coach Hines, Coach Upton, you know, Cody Alexander, all those coaches, you know, seeing those guys and yourself – I think you guys are the future of football and yourself with your books and things like, and we'll talk about that in a second, but I just want to say thank you so much for everything you do. And if you get a chance, audience, please follow them on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, or the YouTube channel. Thank you so much for the kind words, Coach. Um, you know, it's nothing better than seeing um, the kids and people that you're around make progress. And then more than that, just appreciate what you put into it, you know. And so, Correct. you know, we do what we do not to, you know, reap the benefits or anything like that. We do because it it's the right thing to do and because we love it and we do it from the heart. But, man, and down the road in so many ways, uh, you, you the big man looks out for you and pays you back, you know. Hey. I'll tell you one thing. I know one thing for sure, and I tell this to my wife all the time. She's definitely going to heaven. <laughs> she is definitely going to heaven. Uh, so here we go. Chip, let's do this. Uh, let's go on a commercial break. We'll be right back with your kickoff question, and then we'll go into more detail with the Success Chronicles, okay? Go get it. Perfect. Coach Stone Podcast number 32 will be with Chip Baker, Success Chronicles. We'll be right back after this commercial break. The safety of your players is more important than ever. As the game changes to protect the players, TechoTube USA is a leading way with the original innovative product design, not only to practice safer, but promote and teach the best tackling technique. Invented in 2009 by professional rugby player and coach Glenn Remnant, TackleTube allows the players to simulate real game situations, track and tackle a moving target, promote great body position, and improve technique and timing. Coaches in the U.S. and all over the globe are using TackleTube to promote a safer and more effective way to tackle. Unlike other bags that have a limited use, there are many ways to use a tackle tube in your practice, both in season and out of the season. Drills for every position, tackle tube never needs to leave the practice field. Check us out at TackleTubeUSA.com 
or on our YouTube channel and all social media. Look for Tackle Tube USA. Back from commercial break, Coach Stone podcast number 32. I'm with Chip Baker from the Success Chronicles. Coach, here we go. Kickoff question. What is exactly the Success Chronicles? Go. So the Success Chronicles uh, is a YouTube channel, podcast, and radio show now where I interview people from all walks of life and, and just share their stories for inspiration and motivation. And, you know, when I when I started the the Success Chronicles, you know, my goal was to really just, you know, give back and show appreciation to those people that I've been blessed and fortunate to be around. But um, lo and behold, you know, there's a lot of things that have come out of that um, for me. You know, I've become an author, a uh, two-time best-selling author. Uh, I've become, you know, I, the the radio show. i got a radio show. Uh, I've met some amazing people. And, and then uh, bigger than that, I've learned so much, you know, uh, from being able to talk life and success with all of these amazing people. And, um, you know, just like I said, you know, it's not about me. I think that the cool thing is that, you know, it's allowing me to help me be the best version of myself so that I can help others. And it's, it's truly been uh, neat for me. And I consider it an honor and a privilege, you know. Yeah. And then do me a favor, how many episodes do you think you're at right now? <laughs> well, I've done, I've put out 150. Well. Let me let me take that back. I put out 160 because uh, season one was 150 episodes, and then uh, season two I just started that recently. So I'm on I'm about to drop uh, episode number 10 of season two. So currently awesome. I put out 160, and then I have lots more in the vault to still put out. So it's it's been that's, cool. That's awesome. And and if you think about it, if you're like a TV show on NBC. 150 episodes, that's really darn good. I mean, you're up, you're yeah. up at Doctor Who status almost. You know, that's pretty awesome. Yeah. You know, I okay, mean, the, so the, with – go ahead. What would you say? The fact, that, the fact that someone will even uh, talk to me <laughs> and share that story <laughs> man, just one time, man, that's, that's, man, that's a feat right there. <laughs> so, so out of your, all your episodes from your 150 from season one and your season two and your vault, how many – I shouldn't say how many – who do you think is your most popular person? Like, who did you have an actor? Did you have an athlete? Mm. Top one. If you had one person, like you thought someone was like, oh, I gotta listen to that episode. What would that one be? Can I can I do three? <laughs> Heck yeah, do three. That's fine. Give me them all. Okay. All right. So uh, I think number one would probably be Carl Lewis. Carl um, Lewis, nice track legend. Carl Lewis. Got an opportunity to interview him. Uh, it was really cool. You know, it was a perfect scenario of, you know, get outside your comfort zone. You know, if you don't ask, you don't receive. And so happened to be the same place at the same time. And I just asked him, and he was like, "Yeah, sure, let's do it now." <laughs> you know, That's awesome. Yeah, and then uh, another one would be John Gordon, uh, amazing author. You know, I I read all of his books and you know, really follow him. An opportunity to to interview him was was just man like like truly amazing. Uh and then I would probably say the next one would probably be uh Mike Evans, wide receiver for the Tampa Bay Bucks. Really? Yeah. But I mean like I mean like as I as I say those, I mean I, like it's so many of them that to me are like just awesome, <laughs> you know. So I mean, if I had to narrow it down, like you said, one, I stretched it for three, but really, yeah, it could be 160, <laughs> you know. <laughs> Cause, yeah. cause all of them are, are awesome for me and, and, and being really neat to me. <clears throat> okay, so let me ask you this question, because, like, meeting you, for example, or meeting someone like, you know, uh, Shakir Soto or, mm -hmm. you know, I, I, I'm going to use Coach Hines again or – you know, Cody Alexander, he's awesome too, and Ricky Upton, you know, Gene Crosby, all these guys I've met through this thing. Who was one that you interviewed that you were just like, you know, you really took something from it or or it was like one of those ones where you're like, ooh, I got to, like, interview that person again, you know, if you had one. Who, who, 
who just who pops to the top of your list? Like, you know, oh, he gave me a great quote that I always use or something. You know what I mean? Well, that person would be, uh, you know, as as you're saying that, I'm thinking of lots, uh, lots of people, but but narrowing it down to one would be David yeah. Chin, and and David Chin is like a, a big time businessman. Uh, he's mm-hmm. in uh, from El Paso, Texas. Cool story. Um, you know, in short, I won't give you everything, but uh, no, no, it's okay. His his parents are, are immigrants. They came over, um, and you know, they started from nothing. Had a you know mom and pop restaurant that was close to a, a um, corporation, and so some of the big wigs would come into their mom and pop place and eat, and uh, he would translate for them and the the parents. And so uh, as he got older, they got him a job at their place. He ended up being like one of the big wigs in their place for Deloitte, you know. Um, you know, I mean, like as as mid twenties, you know, like fresh out of school, like doing big time things. And so um, now, man, he's in partnerships with with Gary V and um, I don't know, man, meeting Mich- Michelle Obama and you know the president. I mean, just like like big time business guy. But um, that's awesome. Yeah, he said. And he's a really good-hearted guy, you know. So, And he had this quote. He said, uh, we don't have to strive to conquer the world. We just have to strive to conquer ourselves. That is really good, strive to conquer you know? the world. And so, you know, we just have to strive to conquer ourselves. And so, like, we know that. But, like, how he put it, man, was so neat and elegant to me. But, like, you know, if you think about it, you know, we don't have to worry about all the outside distractions and all the other stuff. But if we really just focus in – and work hard every day to be the best version of ourselves in every area of our life, you know, whether it be, you know, uh, follower of Christ, husband, uh, father, uh, you know, teacher, coach, uh, friend, you know, whatever it is, if we just strive to do that every day, then everything else will fall in line. That's awesome. Yeah. That is really good. And let me ask you a question. How long do your, like, if someone wants to, like, say, okay, we want to binge watch 150 episodes, of season one, like my wife and I, we'll start binge watching shows. You know, when the kids go to bed, what yeah. is what is your average success chronicles run? How long is it? Like, is it like certain times, or do you have like you have a thing where you only go like ten minutes, five minutes, fifteen? Does it go to thirty? What is that? Yeah. Well, when I first started, I was gung ho, and they were thirty to forty. <laughs> you know, but as I as I've done more, you know, I really got to where I really understand the value of time of the person's time, you know, if they're, first of all, if they're giving me their time, I feel lucky to have it. But then secondly, you know, I don't want to abuse their time. So now, you know, I try to keep them, you know, under 20 minutes, uh, you know, 20 minutes tops, you know, just to, you know, get them on, get you some good stuff and, and then get off, you know. That's really smart. That's good. Mm-hmm. Awesome. Okay. So if, if someone, like, how do you find, uh, and I apologize for asking all these questions, how do you no, find no. someone for your success chronicles? Like you say, let's say we have a woman's football player, we have a guy's football player, we have a, an athlete or a director or a restaurant or entrepreneur or somebody. How do they get a hold of you if they want to try to get on the success chronicles? So if they want to get a hold of me, um, I'm, I'm really responsive on social media. So all of my social medias, you can DM me or you can email me at Chip Baker. TSC at gmail dot com and I'll say that again it's Chip Baker T S C at gmail dot com. But but really, I mean it's been it's been cool because um I've been in situations where people have referred me to other people to interview them. And and, and That's awesome. it makes me feel good because people don't refer you unless you're referable. You know? Mm-hmm. So for someone to think that man, what you're doing, what I'm doing is good stuff, and to refer me to other people because, you know, it's their name on the line, you know, so that they don't just put you out there if it's not good. So uh, that's, exactly. you know, that's a true blessing. And then the beauty of social media, um, you know, I'll just tell you this scenario. This happened to me today, actually. Um, a couple weeks ago I was on social media and, you know, ran across a lady that, uh, you know, was an, an uh, actress, and, you know, she was kind of, you know, fighting for, like, a cause to help people. So I just reached out to her on social media, and I just interviewed her today. You know, like, she was That's on, awesome. like, she's on, like, uh, Bring It On, 
she was like one of the main cheerleaders on that movie. You know, nice. the second one. You know, like she her like her picture's on the cover of the second movie, right? That and I just awesome. interviewed her earlier today, and so I think the the beauty of social media is is awesome. You know, when of course when it's used right, but um, it's it's been cool. Sweet. All right, let's do this, Coach. Let's go to commercial break. We'll be right back with the first drive question, and then this one will dive into your first book. Does that sound like a plan? Let's get it. Perfect. Coach Stone Podcast number 32, Chip Baker, Success Chronicles. We'll be right back. Watch Game Film, the simple and affordable way to watch, exchange, and manage game film. Watch Game Film has been around for 10 years and works with all sports and all levels of play. Subscriptions start at $100 per team and include unlimited film. www.watchgamefilm.com Back from commercial break, Coach Stone Podcast number 32. Got Chip Baker from the Success Chronicles on. Coach, here we go. First drive question. Let's talk about your, your first book you wrote. I believe the title was Going Through Your Go Through. Is that correct? Yes, sir. Growing Through Your Go Through. So, yeah. Uh, through the Success Chronicles, uh, I came across a, a, an amazing guy, Dr. Oliver T. Reed uh, from the uh, Baltimore. Uh, Maryland, Virginia area, DMV area, and uh, he's a you know multiple time author, um, philanthropist, just a great man, uh, preacher, and so you know we hit it off real well. I interviewed him. We were like, hey, well let's connect next next week and do a topic session. I'm like, oh okay, cool. So like, man, we had to get off, you know, make ourselves get off, and we connected the next week. You know, let's do it again. And so we did that for like a month, a month and a half. And then finally we were like, hey, this is some good stuff. We need to put this in a book. How about a book series, right? Mm-hmm. So um, I've put out two books so far, and the, um, the, the, the book, the series is Solutions to Your Success. So we're, we're giving people tools and tips to help them be successful. And the first book is Growing Through Your Go-Through. And so uh, in that, no one, I don't care who you are, no one is immune from going through uh, tough things. You know, none of us are perfect. We all make mistakes. Um, we all have our personal, you know, this or that that we have to, that we will go through. And so what we have to make sure we do is not just go through it, but understand that there's a, there's a purpose for everything. There's, there's no uh, thing wasted. There's nothing wasted. And so we have to make sure that we find the blessings in the lessons and grow from that. So that when we get out on the other side, uh, not only um, are, are we are we better, but we're better so that we can help others. That's awesome. You know, yes, for sir. someone that teaches special ed and you teach special ed too, that is I that is a great book that you could do in a school even, because oh, that yeah. just right builds now. up a person's confidence or whatever. I mean, that'd be a great book study for any teacher or any school district just by hearing what it's about. And it, like, how long is it? How big is the book? Can we can can you tell us a little on that? And this is the first one of the series, right? Yes, sir. It's the first one. And really, you know, as a coach, and if I could have done that whole thing in bullets, <laughs> I would have. But, uh, <laughs> that's awesome. <laughs> that's you know, awesome. Bullets and uh, notes. No, but uh, it's a really short book. It's only like sixty, sixty six pages. Um, and what we do is the first one, the the, the the beginning of the book, our interview that we did as far as the topic session, we have it transcribed, and that's what it starts with. And then from there, you know, I have a, a section, and do, then Dr. Reed has a section, and, you know, we just give practical tips uh, to help people grow through their go-through, but then the, the beauty of it, too, is uh, it has journal pages in it, so you can make it your personal thing, you know, that you can reflect back and go back and forth on that's awesome. And then please do me a favor. Tell everybody how they can get a copy of this book. Yeah, so, I mean, you can get it through Amazon, but uh, I would really love for people to pick it up in my online store because then I can uh, send them an autographed copy of it. And uh, my online store is chip-baker-the-success-chronicles.square site dot site. Let me repeat that again. I know it's a little long, but yeah, it'll be yes. worth it. 
it'll be worth it. Uh, it's Chip Dash Baker Dash V Dash Success Dash Chronicles Dot Square Dot Site S I T E. So. Uh, if you can just go there and, and pick it up, and that's that's my online store. So all of my products are there. And I know we're just talking about the first book, but um, you know all of my books. I'll be featured in the third book coming at the beginning of the year. The pre-order is on there. Got T-shirts, my nice. character development program that I have. It's all it's all there at one spot. Well, here's the thing though too. Um, if you buy it from you, you get an autographed copy, can't you? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You buy what? it from my online store, and I can you can get the old John Hancock. <laughs> See the cool thing. Yeah, I mean, is, like, if <laughs> if your if your if here's here's what's great about you though. If you sign your book, your book goes up in value. If I sign my book, I have to sell it for twenty percent less. <laughs> <laughs> so, so what I will do for everyone listening, we'll put a link. We'll put a link, oh, and Chip man. will email me the link for his store. So if you yes. want to get an autographed version, it's pretty good. If you've never seen the cover, it's like a revolving door looking glass, like one of those, like, you know, business ones or hotel rooms. Yes. I know hotel, the hotels where, like, you're going around in the circles. But That's it's it. a really cool copy. I like it a lot. I look at the cover and everything. It looks really nice. But let's do this, Chip. We'll go to commercial break. When we come back, we'll go, we're going to go to halftime right now. Then after halftime, we'll come back and we'll talk about your book number two. Does that sound good? Yes, sir. Perfect. Chip Baker, Success Chronicles, Coach Stone Podcast number 32. We'll be right back after halftime. What legacy will you leave as a coach? The three-dimensional coaching framework empowers coaches at every level to fulfill their transformational purpose by helping them become fundamentally sound, skilled at coaching the mind, and focused on developing the heart. Are you needing to take courses to meet professional development or recertification requirements? If so, check out the different online 3D coaching course offerings at 3dinstitute.com. You can even take the 3D coaching course for three graduate credits. Make sure you use the coupon UNITEALL to save 10% on your entire cart. That's unite all, no spaces, all one word, at 3dinstitute.com. The Big Four, a physical education book written by Coach Anthony Stone, can be purchased through the following locations, Amazon, iTunes, BarnesandNoble.com, and Kobo. Go Army Edge Football is a free game-changing app that allows coaches to draw their plays with X's and O's like on a whiteboard and then get the mental reps from the first person's perspective of any position on the field with real-time 3D graphics or virtual reality. Go Army Edge football comes preloaded with many example plays and drills for concepts such as formation recognition and RPO reads. Any coach in any system can benefit from demonstrating in Go Army Edge football, and every player can become a better football player with extra reps in the app. Go visit them on their Twitter or Facebook. Insert at Gourmet Edge. Brunch. $30. Hey, that's okay, Wendy. That was a good carry. You're still the man. You're the man. Latte. $4. Ooh, shake it off, Johnny. Rub some dirt on it. New piano. $3,000. All right, guys. They're not saying boo. They're saying movers. Supporting your team. Priceless. Come on, Bobby. You still got the best arm in the neighborhood. There are some things money can't buy. For everything else, there's MasterCard. This is BCAP, right? Coach Stone Podcast number 32. We were just in the locker room, X and Owen on the board with Coach Chip Baker. Success from the Success Chronicles. Coach, here we go. Kick return question. Let's talk about book number two. And please, you don't have to say the link again because what we'll do is we'll put a link in the podcast, so everyone just click to your store to get an autographed copy, okay? Yes, sir. Well, Book number uh, you know, two. Oh, go ahead. Uh, you know, first, man, there was some great halftime adjustments that we made. Um, good talk, <laughs> good talk, talk. Um, 
I think we're ready with our with our, our game plan, our adjustments. So let's get it. Oh, I, I think we're going to go after it right away. Effective conversation to unite a relationship. Is that correct? Yeah, effective conversation to ignite relationships. Tell us about it. So uh, everything we do in life is tied to our relationships. And so one of my former pastors uh, had this quote, you know, and this is the quote that I start with in my part of the book. Um, our life moves at the speed of our relationships. And that quote is from Pastor Danny Green. And if you think about it, everything, like I said, you know, you have people that's doing amazing things, they have amazing relationships in their life. And and vice versa. You know, people that are not doing so well, well, they probably need to get themselves around some great people, right? And so, um, mm-hmm. you know, we just break down, um, you know, tips to help people be successful to have successful conversation within those relationships. And, uh, I mean, they're not just husband and wife, uh, not just boyfriend and girlfriend, but we hit all business relationships, or whatever it is. Everything is relationships. And so um, it's a really good book, you know, and I, I'll tell this funny on myself. So, you know, there's a process when you do a book. You know, you do your writing, you send it off to the editor, and the editor takes a look at it, and they send it back to you for proofing and you know, you do that process a couple of times, but uh, the first uh, proof that we did, you know, it had been a little while since I sent it in, and some of the things, you know, you, you just do, you just continue to live and do your thing, but when I read it, oh, man, it was amazing. <laughs> it, was like, uh, it was like, like man, it blew me away, and, you know, I was a part of writing it, <laughs> you know. And so, That's awesome. It was, yeah, it, it's some really good stuff in there, and I'm not saying it because, it's my book, but I mean, I'm just saying it because I mean the feedback that we've gotten uh, from it has, has been outstanding. That's awesome. So, do it like okay. So, the cover of it. Explain the cover. Why you have the match and everything. Tell me about that. Yeah, it's just igniting. I mean, you know, the the thing that helps you ignite your relationships is is effective conversation. You know, and if you, know, you can, go ahead. And you can and you can speak and uh, be a good listener. You know, that's a part of it too. It's a tango. It's a dance. Uh, you know, mm-hmm. if you can respect others and do those kind of things, it'll it'll truly take you further. You know, give effort, show appreciation. Uh, it'll really take you further in your relationships, and, and you you'll grow together. That's awesome. And here's what I would say to everybody. You can get the book on Amazon, but if you go through the website, Chip Baker's website, you can get an autographed copy. And I'm going to tell you right now, if you have not listened to Success Chronicles, you definitely got to listen to him on his YouTube channel. Coach, before we go to the next question, please tell us again what your YouTube channel is. My YouTube channel is Chip Baker, The Success Chronicles. So if you go there and Perfect. you just search it, Chip Baker, The Success Chronicles, it'll pop up. Awesome. Here we go. Coach Stone Podcast number 32, Skip Baker, Success Chronicles, commercial break. We'll be right back. Do you preach about ball security? Is getting better each day something you strive to do? Do you want to work to eliminate fumbles? The high and tight teaching football is a revolutionary design football that encompasses virtually every method known to eliminate fumbling, thus maximizing your opportunity to be victorious. The high and tight teaching and training football is state-of-the-art patent football that gives athletes and those around instant, audible feedback when you are holding the football correctly, high and tight, thus closing the gap between the wrist and the body and the elbow and the body. Whether you're a player, utilize the wing tee carrying with two hands over the ball or a pro style against their body, High and tight provides an audible alert when proper hold is executed correctly. Start to create habits that win games with teaching your players how to carry the ball high and tight. Order yours today at highandtight.com. Use promo code Coach Stone to save. Coach Stone Podcast number 32. My guest is Chip Baker, Success Chronicles. Coach, here we go. Second drive question. 
I know you go to book, you've been doing book signings and everything. Where are you promoting your company, your books, and so forth? So go ahead. The floor is yours. Yes, sir. Well, you know, really just, you know, hitting it pretty hard on social media. You know, I'm on all the, the social medias, uh, you know, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, um, LinkedIn, TikTok, you know, like it's Twitter. I mean, all of the social medias, I'm, I'm on it. And, and I promote on all of them. So, you know, it's no excuse for you not to get this positive inspiration and motivation because it's everywhere. No. <laughs> but uh, but just promoting it on, on all social medias and, uh, you know, by word of mouth, you know, it's, it's great when people think enough of your work to share. You know, like you are giving me opportunity to be on your platform, and I'm, I'm so appreciative of that. But uh, there's been other people that, you know, that highlight authors. I've done some interviews on that, and so those are the those are the means that that I've been doing. Done some book tours, uh, well, well, book signings. I'm sorry, and I just finished a, a four city Texas book tour, and that that's was, awesome. Uh, that was amazing. Where were the where were the four cities that in Texas? Yeah, so we started uh, we started in Dallas, then we went to Austin, then San Antonio. And we finished in Houston, uh, the Woodlands, and so that's uh, you know four cities, four days. Uh, we 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 got an influencer in each city uh, to speak as well, and so we did that and had another guy travel with us, um, Christopher Holmes. He's a Soul Productions um, media company, a great young mm-hmm. guy that's doing some big time things, and you know he's a multiple time author. And, of course, Dr. Reed flew in from uh, the Virginia area, and so you know I, I showed him some southern hospitality. First place I took him nice. was the Waterburger. <laughs> 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 you know, and so uh, God, and we just it. had a good time going around uh, teaching the lessons and the principles uh, from our, our book, and, and like I said, you know, the, the feedback from it has been truly outstanding. You know, everybody uh, has left refreshed. Everybody has left from each one wanting more, you know, and uh, and we we look forward to traveling. We're gonna do more. We're planning a, a, a East Coast tour um, soon. We're gonna do Atlanta. We're gonna do a West Coast tour as well. So in in 2020, the goal is to to do like five or six um, places areas. So looking forward to that. Awesome. And then you have a thing with your Success Chronicles. What's that thing you're doing like? It's not like a certification. Or, is it like a certification or something with your, with Uh-oh. your thing? Uh-oh. <laughs> What's that? So you're talking about my, my character development program? Yes, yes. Let's talk about that really quick. Yes, sir. So, uh, you know, I, I've kind of talked about, you know, my experience as far as uh, being a fourth-generation educator. Uh, you know, I played sports, played four sports for four years in high school, played college football, been a coach for 20 plus years, head coach, athletic director. So, um, you know, I've seen, I've seen it from all different areas, you know, from the the kid, the athlete perspective, from the the student, the college perspective, the coach perspective, the the mentee perspective, the mentor perspective. You know, so I've seen it from all different perspectives, and so I just put all of that together. Um, mm-hmm. into a package of what, um, you know, kids need to hear, what the people that's working with kids need to hear. <laughs> and uh, so what it is, it's 15 videos, uh, 10 for kids, five for coaches and staff. And really what it allows uh, you to do is, you know, watch at your leisure, you know, because I know, you know, time is valuable. Certain people have mm-hmm. certain things, certain ways they do in their program. And so it allows you the autonomy to, hey, you watch it when with your kids when when you have when you make time, you know, and it allows you to um, build and establish uh, quality relationships, and it all goes back to that, you know, because now you you know it's not, you know, uh, it's not just you're you're number twenty two, like you know you're Chris Smith that has mm-hmm. you know two or three brothers and sisters that has grown up with a single parent mother that. You know, this is your ticket, you know. So it allows you to uh, develop those relationships and learn all of those things and really 
like you know, Coach, at the end of the day, those people that it means something to, that they show effort, that they care about who you are, you, you get that in return with the effort. People go above and beyond because they know you care. And yeah. so that's what it allows you to do. And, and it's a win-win because you know, it helps you develop the character. And so now we're not just – yeah, we're 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 playing football. We want to win football games, but but more than that, I want to teach you how to win in life. If I teach you how That's to win awesome. in life, everything else you're gonna win everywhere else in your life for the rest of your life. <laughs> you know. Now, if someone wants to get all, if they want to get that stuff, how do they get that stuff? Yeah, and same what same place on my online store. Um, it is on there as well. Uh, you know the character development program, so much in the link that I, I, I shared with you earlier. It's Correct. all it's all in one one place. Awesome. And then you said, like you said, there was five videos for kids, right? And then ten, ten for coaches. Ten for, ten for kids. Five ten for kids. coaches. Perfect. Mm-hmm. And then so fifteen. And then fifteen videos. And yes, now, sir. is that like, is that like, once you're done with that, how does that work? Do you do you do like a certification or something like that, or how you how does that all work? Is it just like no, watch the videos when they can? Yeah, not necessarily a certification or anything. It's just a, it's just another tool uh, for your toolbox to help you reach kids. You That's know? awesome. I mean, just you know, another bag of tricks in there that'll help you, like I said, build and establish those relationships. And uh, I, these are things that that great people have done for me. You know what I'm saying? Like, mm-hmm. you know, like I said, I, I you know talked about some of the things that I I think, you know, coaches need to hear. You know, like what's your coaching style? You know, what are you know just some different tips on some different things? Yeah, I think I think it's awesome. I mean, the biggest thing too is, you know, what you have is, you know, I love I love how you have your shirts on your website, and yes, you know your store, and you have the character development program and things like that. And then you have, you know, the, the volume two success coming out soon, the pre-sale suited for success mm-hmm. volume two. You know, I, I think that's awesome. Um, Thank you. What I'll do though, is make sure that everyone, like when we do this podcast, I'll make sure that the link that you said, say it one more time, but I'll definitely make sure the link's in there. So go ahead. What's the website again for your store? Yes. So my online store is, and it's a little long. I apologize for that, but it's, Chip dash Baker dash V dash success dash chronicles dot square dot site. Perfect. Mm-hmm. All right. Coach, we'll do this now. Let's go to another commercial break. We come back, we'll do the two minute warning with you, okay? Does that sound good? Sounds like a plan. Awesome. Coach Stone Podcast number 32, Chip Baker, Success Chronicles. We'll be right back with this commercial break. Safe contact, sound fundamentals. Tackle bar football is a safer approach that preserves the tradition and fundamentals of the football game. What is tackle bar football? Tackle bar football is a safer approach to the game that preserves the tradition and spirit of the sport. Players wear traditional football equipment plus a tackle bar harness that holds two foam bars across the lower back. The defender must attract and engage with a proper form tackling technique while wrapping the ball carrier and ripping a bar from the harness. With this approach, players stay on their feet rather than taking the ball carrier to the ground. Tackle bar. Coach Stone Podcast number 32, Chip Baker, Success Chronicles. Coach, here we go. Two-minute warning. Your words of wisdom. The floor is yours, sir. Go. All right, so uh, I'm just going to go with my tagline um, for my YouTube channel. This is important to me, and every word on here is important because it, it has meaning behind it of some personal situation in my life. So my tagline is live, learn, serve, inspire, go get it. And so I think when we live, it's important to live a life where you are not afraid to live, uh, you know, um, take chances. You know, do things that are out of your comfort zone. Uh, you know, push yourself to be the best version of yourself. I think when you when you live a life like that, uh, you learn you learn so much about the world. 
You learn so much about the people and situations and experiences around you, but most, most important, you learn about yourself, right? And then from there, once you have lived and learned, it's important to serve. Um, it's important to take those experiences that you have gained and, and, and use those to serve others um, and, and help others get through and move efficiently. You know, since you've already experienced it, you know, help them move more efficiently so they can be better. And then inspire. Um, little do we know that, you know, when we are uh, going through the things we go through and growing through our go-through, um, you know, it's inspiring. Others are watching you. And so it's important to just continue to push, continue to keep doing your thing, and then the last thing is, is go get it. You know, no success is going to come to you. You got to go make it happen. You, know, you have to you have to go get it and, and, and make it happen. And so that's the, my tagline, live, learn, serve, inspire, go get it. That's awesome. I love that. Coach, do me a favor. Give them everything social media-wise. Also, on your shop, I saw you have the initial interviews, of yes. the videos, and the audio tapes of your book. So that's phenomenal. So, yes, sir. like I said, we'll have the link. I'll, I'll make sure the link of the store is in there. But let's give them all your social media again before we wrap this thing up. Yes, sir. So, uh, all my social media is pretty much Chip Baker TSC, and that's Facebook, that's Instagram. Um, Twitter is Chip Baker 19. Uh, linked, LinkedIn is Chip Baker, the Success Chronicles. And like you said, lots of products and things on my uh, store. Also, I wanted to mention that I am a John Gordon Power of Positive Leadership uh, certified trainer. And, you know, at the new year, you know, I will be uh, doing that, you know, certifying people in the Power of Positive Leadership uh, through trainings. And so I'm excited and really looking forward to that. That's awesome, Coach. That is phenomenal. Well, hey, I want to thank you so much for this. Um, it was great to meet you in person, too. We're going to have to get together, yes, and then when your next book comes out, we'll have to do another podcast. I promise you that. How many uh, How many of the books of the series are coming out? I think you said four, correct? Yes, sir. We'll be four. So we are, we are, we have done, we have put out two of four so far. And so um, this year is really good. Like I said, we've just put out the second one not very long ago, a couple months ago. And so, um, man, really looking forward to the growth. And we're, gonna, we're doing, like I said, we're doing some traveling on the book tours and, and doing seminars to teach the principals to, you know, to have effective conversations to ignite relationships. And really, uh, you know, everybody needs that. You know, all types of, like I said, husband, wife, business, corporate. I mean, like everything is relationships. And so, um, the more we're doing it, the more we are seeing it's needed. That's awesome. Yes, so sir. When we get that, when that third that third book's out, almost like right now. Once that fourth book comes out, I'm putting you, I'm getting you back on the show if that's okay with you. Oh, well, say you can't see me, but I have a pen in my hand. Sign me up. So. <laughs> that's awesome. Hey, I, I put I I put the helmet on you. And I'm putting you in. That's all I'm doing. Hey, so, here hey, we go. What you don't. What you don't know is I already got the mouthpiece in. I'm on my way on the field. You gotta, you gonna have to hold me back and let me know when you want me in. <laughs> Let's <Awesome>. go. <laughs> Let's go. Awesome. Well, I want to thank Chip Baker. I want to thank you from the bottom of my heart, Chip Baker Success Chronicles, for being on the show today. It was Coach yes, Stone Podcast number thirty-two. Greatly appreciate it, man. Uh, I want to thank JC Hawks Radio, JC Hawks Sports Network. I want to thank BJ for letting me do this. If you ever miss an episode of any of my podcasts, you can listen to them on iTunes and Stitcher. Look under JC Hawks Radio. Also, remember to go to my website for more information about podcasts, blogs, books, football tips, free PE games, coachstonefootball.com. Remember, if you haven't seen my Back to the Basics books, I highly recommend them. They are on Amazon.com, hardcover and Kindle. There are five tackle books and one flag book over 1,600 pages of football drills and content. And, hey, Coach, again, Chip, thank you so much. I learned a lot today, and, you know, I've taken away things that I'll be using definitely next year in coaching. I appreciate it. Yes, sir, Coach. Thank, again, thanks so much for having me. You know, again, like I said when we started, um, I think what you do is amazing. And, and the fact well, thank that you. 
uh, get an opportunity to, to hang out with you and do an interview on your platform. I truly appreciate it. And uh, one other thing I want to add, too, go get it. <laughs> <laughs> I definitely will. And I'll, I will leave everyone with this. Always remember instilling confidence by laying a foundation. Thank you and have a great day, everyone. Coach Stone Podcast, number 32. Coach Stone Podcast.